this is not the Battle of Bosworth, as I was saying um, yesterday, I was going to play it today. This is the Battle of Tewkesbury, um, Gloucestershire, England, 4th of May, 1471. Here we have um, the two uh, armies facing off. We have um, the king, King Edward uh, IV, um, so a Yorkist king. Um, and his brother, the Duke of Gloucester, um, Richard, um, uh, later Richard III. <coughs> um, and here we have uh, the Lancastrians. Um, what we're now going to be doing is, first of all, uh, York will go first. Um, there will also be an ambush. Um, King Edward had ordered a small force, the source call it a plump, archaic English for small cluster of 200 mounted spearmen, it is not quite sure exactly what they were to wait and stand in a stand of woods that are off to the southwest of the battlefield. Enter hexes. Um, um, two one two seven, which is down here, and two one two and uh, three one two seven down here. So. Um, Um, da, da, da. Okay, now let's see what it says here on 16.1. That player may choose to use any free activation to activate an ambush cavalry unit. This cavalry unit, okay, so cavalry. Um, okay, so we will add one cav to um, Gloucester later on. Also, um, we receive uh, Caesia cards. Um, um, York gets four. I'm going to draw them now. One, two, three, and four. Put these ones to the side. And um, Lancaster gets uh, three. One, two, and three. And these ones go to the side. So let's see what we've got. Um, Lancaster can seize twice or try to seize twice and they can also negate one leader casualty. I've never had a leader casualty ever, so um, this is not really one of the really good ones. Battle cry, treachery, seizure negation, and one seizure opportunity for the Yorkists. Um, one thing that I need to clarify that is movement through... Um, Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is where the where the um rules let you down. I believe I, I read something about you cannot move through other units except if it's a um, da, 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 da.
Yeah, you can retreat into through friendly missile units, but they will be disordered. I don't think you can advance through them. Okay, because this is how I'm going to play this. Because what we have here is artillery. Um, and this means we have an issue because um, all of the um, artillery and longbow and um, handguns are in front of uh, the actual... <clears throat> fighting men that would advance. So um, in order for them to be able to advance, um, they would have to walk around them. So I place the artilleries at the edges of the battle so that actually they don't have to walk around them so much because the artillery, you would have to spend one activation to limber it, then to move it. Um, so that's two activations that's gonna take ages. So. Um, and of course the, the, the gunners and the longbowmen can move and then fire. So let's just check what the actual reach, the range of um, artillery is. It's the maximum range is 10. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So basically all of these are out of reach at the moment. And they would also be out of reach of any of the longbowmen. <clears throat> so what we're going to be doing is we're going to start with the activation. And we're going to activate um, we're going to activate Hastings. Um, and Hastings men are going to move, and this is very important. Down here we have um, what is called a hedgerow. So basically, um, and there is Queen Margaret's camp. Uh, Queen Margaret was apparently um, present at the battle, but she didn't do anything. So I'm a bit surprised that actually the Queen would have been between the two um, lines of, of, of enemies. But um, yeah. So basically, um, the hedgerows actually um, have a movement cost of two for mounted, four for artillery, and uh, sorry, two for foot, four for mounted and four for artillery and you cannot sh and shock and charge through them is actually going to be quite difficult and it also inhibits um, uh, the possibility of shooting um, through it. So one way of doing this is actually to get um, all of uh, Hastings men up here and flank the um, the Lancastrians, which is what we're going to be doing. So we're going to start moving. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four for the inf infantry. One, two, three, four for the second infantry and the men at arms need to change facing first one one two so they will be kind of um, lagging behind now we will roll for continuation to see can we transfer command to another um, of the Yorkist uh, commanders um, and I think I would probably go for Gloucester and send him round here um, and yeah I don't know I think I will not try and seize opportunity because at the moment uh, the Lancastrians are pretty safe so um, even on this activation they are not facing any um, assault possibilities from their rivals so um, <clears throat> I'll actually let them try and they roll a 9, which actually means that um, since Gloucester's um, activation rating is 4, the um, Lancastrians now have the initiative. And they have one free activation, which means that they can actually decide to move the whole army. Um, and I actually believe this is what they are going to be doing. So, um, <clears throat> they are going to move... One, two, three. One, two, three, 
four. One, two, three, four, five. Artillery stays where it is. Infantry follows. One, two, three. Two, three. One, two. Um, <clears throat> one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Artillery stays where it is. Infantry advances. One, two, three. One, two, three, and the men at arms will change facing one, one, two, and we'll move over here. Um, handgun, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Oops, this is wrong. This is an unhorsed counter. This should be something else. This should be actually, I believe, um, dismounted men at arms. It's a good thing I caught that. So yeah, I want to get a different unit here um, <clears throat> yeah this is um, as somebody remarked in one of their um, posts and um, the counters are kind of small so you sometimes find it a little bit difficult to read them um here we are one dismounted men at arms coming up So it's quite important to always ensure that everybody is always in command. So this command range here is seven. So anyone um, needs to be one, two, three, four, no more than seven away. So again, this is quite important um, because this artillery will be activated by uh, Devon. But one, two, three, four, you know, he needs to stay in command range of these people. <clears throat> so at the moment we're safe. So now the free activation is over. Now they can try and um, keep going. Um, So we're going to use um, Beaufort, he's got a 4, and he rolls a 1, so he is actually able to activate again, which is really brilliant. So we're going to advance, 1. Uh, moving through the head is plus 2, so 1, 3, 4, 5, and change facing. One, three, five, one, three, five, change facing, one, three, five, no, sorry, this is infantry, one, three, one, three, one, two, four, for the handgun, one, two, One, two, one, two, four, 
um, one, two, three. So both it is going to stay here. And I believe we're going to limber the artillery and move it. One, two, three, four. And he's going to also move with his. <clears throat> so now we could, in theory, try to activate. Um, uh, let's say when lock um, for a three so we are at a minus one we're going to try and do this but he rolls a five so basically now it's a free activation for the Yorkists um, the Yorkists will now um, um Activate Hastings again. Hastings people will move one, two, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. And they are going to attack using um they're also gonna bring forward their artillery. One, two, three. So they're now going to fire on these longbow men. So there's a different distance of one, two, three. And here we have one, two, three. Now what this means is actually that there will be return fire. <clears throat> because obviously um, there is, or it's actually called reaction fire. So um, obviously when they get attacked, they will fire back. No, sorry, it's return fire because they fire back. When an, uh, an um, uh, yeah, so basically being fired at means they will actually return fire. Um, so <clears throat> first, these ones up here, one, two, three, four. It's um, a distance of four. And they roll a four. For a long bow, um, range in hexes, four is a minus one. Um, so that's a three and uh, nothing happens. We will resolve the return fire. It's a four as well. Again, nothing happens. Second one rolls a seven. And the distance is one, two, three. Four as well. Um, seven is um, at minus one, is a six. That means defender is disordered or retreats. Uh, sorry, no, um, is disordered, but they get to fire as well first. Um, for a three modified die roll, nothing happens. So they are now disordered, which is not too bad a result at all. Um, so this is now um, Hastings' um, movement and activation. Oh, sorry, I was going to do this as well. Overlooked one of his um, artilleries there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate um, Gloucester. Because I want Gloucester to advance. Um, but now, actually... Okay, now this is going to be ridiculous because I'm playing against myself so that's a bit a bit of a difference if you play a card driven game so basically they will use the seizure, op seizure opportunity which I will negate but I still need to roll so let's roll a four or less and I roll a five actually I lose my activation so yeah um 
we are going to we are going to activate uh, activate lord john wenlock <clears throat> so first of all he's going to limber his artillery and then we're going to move forward. One, two, four. One, two, four. One, two, four. One, two, four. One, two, one, three, four, one, three, five. Um, one, two, three. One, two, four. And he's going to pull up with his infantry, uh, with his um, um, dismounted men at arms, and we're going to move the artillery forward. One, two, three, four. So that's his activation. Um, let's activate Beaufort. On a zero. Um, that actually is an activation. Um, so he is going to move his um, men. One, two. Three. One. Two, three. Four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, artillery, two, three, four. that's where he needs to stay and now they're going to attack so they're now going to fire one two three at this infantry unit back here so um, they're at zero as a longbow but they're firing over a unit namely this artillery unit so now they're going to be at a minus one and I roll a three which means nothing happens Nothing happens here is, um, either, so now I'm going to use these to fire at um, the handgun here. Um, they're at minus two, so nothing happens there. Um, return fire. They don't have reaction fire, uh, return fire, the handguns, they only have reaction fire, and then the longbow men will fire at this unit here. That's a six, the range is one, two, three. So they're at zero minus one because they're firing over a unit. So that's a five, and this means that this unit back here, so that was not too bad, is actually dis. disordered. Not too bad. So these have all gone. Um, that's um, Beaufort's um, activation done. So now we can try and activate um, Courtenay and we need to roll a zero or one. And we roll an eight, so that's it. So now it's again the, uh, the Yorkists who get to go. So now, um, what they're going to be doing is they're going to be attacking with um, Richard, Duke of Gloucester. So the, the Duke is going to um, use his... First of all, he's going to um, 
No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to attack all of these um, and I'm going to use my artillery as well. Artillery has a range of 10. So I'm going to use this to attack this infantry regiment back here. One, two, three, four. That's four hexes away, so I'm at a minus two. No, actually, I can't fire over um, over uh, units, so I have to fire... Um, oh, yeah, I will attack this unit here. Oh, actually, I can change facing and then um, attack this unit here, which I will do. For um, it's a distance of two, so that's at minus, uh, that's at zero. And I roll a three. Nothing happens. Um, so this one is done. Um, these ones are going to fire at the handgun. It's two away. For an eight, um, that's actually a nine result, so these are disordered. Um, they are going to attack um, the handgun is at a minus two for range two well brilliant and they are pretty useless um, so but still I will try and attack those for a four two um, disordered Oh, good. Since they are on foot and disordered, they retreat. Um, and now they are going to fire at this one here. Seven. Seven is a disordered. However, of course, they all get to return fire. So, uh, re um, yeah, return fire. So these two get to return fire. I don't know, did I ask them to return fire? I mean, this one gets to return fire anyway, so um, that's an eight. That means these ones are disordered. And this one gets to return fire as well. And for a five, that's also then disordered. So <clears throat> we've managed to disorder two and make one retreat as well. So that's not too bad. Okay, so as you can see, you really have to keep track of what you're doing. Um, That is the, uh, yeah, and we're going to use this artillery as well. One, two, three, four. Um, at five, it's at a minus two. We will try it anyway. For a nine, that's actually seven. They are, um, they are in a hedge which has a minus one for So that is seven, six, which means these are disordered. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Um, They get to return fire though, and it's a five, so that's at a minus one. They roll a two, nothing happens. Okay, that concludes um, Gloucester's um, activation. So, um, let's turn him over just so we know he has already gone. Let's put him here to the side so we know this one is not going to be activated again. Now we're going to activate 
Um, the king, King Edward the Fourth. Um, so we need to roll a four or less. We roll a two. So we go. Um, we're going to change the facing of this artillery so that they can actually fire one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, no, actually, we're not going to do that. We're going to leave it as is for the moment. We're going to f move the handguns one, two, four. One, two, four. Longbow men. One, two, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. We're going to limber this and move it forward. One, two. Um, this one. We will limber it and move it. One. No, we'll actually leave where it is and just um, yeah, leave it as is. I mean, our artillery is actually not very effective in this game at all. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be... Um, attacking so here we have at a minus two for at a minus two for the missile fire because of the hedge row so for each hex we get a minus two so we start with this one one two um that's nine minus two is seven so these are disordered and they don't get to return fire because they're handguns so this this unit has gone so I'll just turn it like this this unit will now fire at the infantry for a four, minus two is two, nothing happens. They've also gone, so this one will now fire at this unit. And we fire a six for a two, minus two is a, um, is nothing happens. Okay, but it was worth a try. The handgun is at a minus two already because it's two hexes away. So, and then a minus two for the hedgerow is not going to make any difference. We're not going to do this. Um, so, because we would have to roll really, really high. Having said this, we could actually try this one because this one is disordered already. So, let's just try. We roll a seven. Minus two is a five. Minus two is a three. But seeing as they are disordered, they retreat. That's not too bad. So, these guys retreat. So yeah, so that was not too bad. So I'm just going to turn them around again because that was. Um... They of course get to return fire. Um, and it is um they were here, so it's one two, minus two, for the hedgerow, and they are. Minus four because they are disordered, so that's a roll of three, nothing happens. Okay, so that wasn't too bad at all. Um, so that was um, King Edward's um, activation. Um, yeah. I will try and activate the other one, for a one that actually worked, I can't believe it. So Hastings goes. Yeah, well, maybe I should have played the seize your opportunity card. Um, so Hastings guys move. Um, first we're gonna move the artillery, two, four, two, four, and unlimber. So on the next turn they can actually go. One, two, three. One, two, one, change facing, two. So we're going to fire at this unit here. We're going to move forward with this one here. One, two, three. So they're going to react fire. 
but we're going to disorder them actually. So they roll a 7 um, and they are disordered so it's a 5 um, which means that this unit is actually disordered so that was actually very good. They were really good. Um, but they will be no match for me. So um, basically um, this is now going to fire at this one here um, for a 6 and they are disordered so they are retired. Which means they go to their to their relevant um, uh, standard, which you can't see because it's off map, and we're going to um, give them one flight point. So this one has gone. This one will now fire at this disordered unit for a five. And they are disordered, which means that they are retired as well. Another flight point. Um, and that is the end. I've activated all my forces. So now it's the turn of... Um, of the... Uh, Lancastrians and now they really need to think what they would like to do because the problem is we have retired forces I mean as you can see although they have advanced they already have two retired forces and over here the whole area is completely um, thrown open you know they are not in a very good state now, what you can do is, um, when you have a retired unit, um, under 14.5, um, retired units have a movement, movement allowance of one. Um, if a retired unit is attacked, blah, blah. Retired units are activated along with other units in their battle. So you can actually, um, I believe, revive them. And that is to rally. Mm. So what I could do is I could activate, and this is a formal activation, this standard, and just get these two um, out of retirement, which I'm not going to do because that's probably not such a good idea. So what I will do is I will... Um, I will attack with this unit here. I'm going to shock attack this unit here. So one, two, one, two, and um, I'm going to change facing. Gonna move in here. One, two, three, one, two. This means they are all drawing fire now. <clears throat> two, that's um, a three, nothing happens over here. Um, four plus one is five. Um, means this one is this ordered but they still get to shock so these two will be shocking this particular one so now we're going to see how this works you have infantry shocking infantry so on the actual weapon system matrix um, infantry versus infantry is zero there is no differential however here you have two troops 
just um, shocking one um, set of troops. So basically you get um, a plus one differential um, and a plus one because they are disordered. Actually leave this because if the attacker is disordered then it means yeah okay we're not gonna do this so so we're just gonna um, roll for an eight that's um, plus nine plus one is a nine so basically what we're going to be getting is a plus nine result and that means that the defending unit is disordered if it's already disordered it is eliminated so that is um, very good so the um, leader automatically moves to a different um, area back here. So um, this is eliminated. We're going to put it over here. We're going to adjust the flight point track. But now I also get to continue the attack. So this attacker moves in here and can now shock this particular area here at a minus one. So I roll a two, minus one is one. We have infantry shocking a... Um, Longbow unit, that's then a plus one, so we are at a two. Um, oh, they should have, sh oh, sorry, they should have shot this one anyway. Okay, so sorry, they need to, how does this work now? I think they need to shock first. Okay, so I'm going to roll again. Um, two minus two is zero. Plus one is one. The attacker is nothing. Oh, the attacker is disordered. If the attacker is already disordered, what happens then? What happens if an attacker is disordered and then gets disordered again? Oh, additional disorder results of no further effect on a unit which is already disordered. Okay. Okay, so nothing happens here, but they get to attack now for a continued attack. Minus one. Okay, so basically uh, that didn't work. Um, so that's a zero. So uh, the attacker is disordered. So although they were happily advancing, that didn't do so well for them. And also, oh, they got to, oh, actually, they would have been able to react fire. So they roll a three. Plus one is a four. Um, nothing happened. Okay, so as you can see, there are plenty of things going on. And there are plenty of things you can do and uh, get completely wrong. So that was Devon. Um, yeah, he managed to eliminate one infantry unit of the, York, um, of the Yorkists. Um, so now... Um, we are going to activate um, Beaufort. Roll a four on this. Oh, actually, we're going to limber this and move it as well. One, two, three, four. We roll a one, so Beaufort um, activates. Going to move him forward to three. We are going to not do anything with these, but we're going to turn them over. So we're going to rally them. We're going to um, attack with the longbowmen. We're going to attack um, these and we're going to bring forward our artillery one. And we're going to move our infantrymen one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we're going to try and flank them. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be firing. I'm going to move the handguns 
up front as well. So we're going to um, if you're going to put these here. We're going to attack with the longbowmen. This disordered. Um, no, actually, we're going to use the handgun to attack this disordered longbowmen group. Seven um, for a handgun is a minus two, so that's a five. It's already disordered. Um, so if it's already disordered, then um, on a five, it's retired. So we're going to place it with its standard. And we're going to adjust the flight point track. Um, the longbow, so this one has gone, so I'm just going to turn it over like this. The longbow men are going to attack this disordered infantry unit. Um, oh, they actually got to reaction fire. Um, they roll a zero, minus two, yeah, that didn't do anything. So they're going to attack the infantry unit, one, two, three three hexes away for a zero and now they're not firing over other units so there's no penalty let's see what happens they roll a one um nothing happens no effect so they've gone the longbow men are going to attack this longbow unit here it's one two so um a plus one it's a nine, and this is a, um, a disordered um, unit. So they are eliminated, but of course they get a reaction fire first. And they roll a zero, um, and they are disordered, which means that they're at a minus two, so nothing happens, and they get eliminated. It's not too good, so again, we adjust the flight track, so now the Orcists have overtaken the Lancastrians. And now this unit is going to fire at this infantry unit. So it's three um, hexes away, so there is no plus penalty, but it's firing over artillery, so there's a... one and I roll a six so that's a five and this is a normal target on foot so they are disordered um so they've all gone that's it so this is um Beaufort's, um activation so um Will I try and let them, yeah, let's see if they can activate Longford. And they can't. Okay, so I now have a free activation as the um, uh, Yorkist player. I'm going to move the one, two. Um, Infantry is going to move in here to shop here. Let's see, do handgun people actually get to reaction fire? Yeah.
They roll a nine. Ooh, wow. For a uh, minus two because they are disordered. That's a seven. Plus a minus one because they are, so that's a six. Wow, that was actually surprising. So they are disordered. Wow. Impressive, because usually they are crap. Okay, so now um, <clears throat> the um, longbow men are going to attack this unit. Oh wow, for a one, that didn't work. They're going to attack this infantry unit. For a six, for a two. No, for a six, for a four, for a five. They are disordered already. So they are retired. Um, this handgun unit is going to attack this, this longbow unit. For a minus, no, we're actually not going to do this. This longbow unit is going to attack this infantry unit. For a, it's a two hex distance, so that's a plus one, minus two because of the hedgerows, so that brings us to a three, nothing happens. The handgun is pretty useless. Oh, you know what? I'll just fire them anyways. Five. Yeah, nothing happens. Okay, so as you can see, um, you know, as they as they also say in the book, in the playbook, um, you know, handguns were actually quite useless. So I'm just gonna move these ones forward. Limber. One, two, three. Um, yeah, but as I said, again, artillery is also quite a bit of a problem. So now I've done what I wanted to do with the king. Um, let's try and roll for Mr. Plantagenet. And I roll a one, so continuation. Um, I am now going to use my artillery. I'm going to change facing and I'm going to fire at this longbow group. Um, it's one, two away. Um, that's a zero modifier and I roll a five. It's not too bad. So they are disordered, but they fire back. And they roll a zero, which doesn't do anything. So yeah, that was that was a lucky a lucky thing. Um, um, I'm going to move those men at arms forward. They're going to be fired upon by these for a two, um, which does nothing. So they're going to shock. Going to move this infantry unit forward one two they're going to be attacked now reaction fired upon by these for a seven five six oh god that was stupid they are now retired that was very stupid so this one is going to sit here retired um so now I'm going to um, use this artillery unit to fire on this um, longbow unit. Um, and I roll a four, which nothing happens. They get to return fire. They roll a one, nothing happens either. So now I'm going to shock. Um, so it's men at arms. Dismounted men at arms shocking a handgun unit. That's a plus three to begin with. And I roll a four. That's a seven. Um, defender disordered or retreat. Hmm. I'd rather retreat because disordered means I can't do anything. So I'm going to retreat. Okay, 
so um and these ones are actually going to be rallied so um um Um, yeah, that was um, Plantagenet. Uh, yeah, we're not doing so well. So we will try Hastings, but we will probably lose this one. No, we actually managed to rally Hastings. Um, One, they're going to shock here. One, two, one, two, three, they're going to go here. These ones are going to attack here. They roll a two plus one is a three, firing on a disordered. Infantry units, so they're going to retreat. So these ones will not be shocking this unit here, which is good. They're going to shock um, This unit here, which is already at a plus one plus So it's basically infantry shocking infantry. So that in and of itself has a zero modifier. This one is um, Disordered so it's a plus one and this um, leader has a plus one a charisma rating so it's a plus two on the die roll the die roll is a zero well that's brilliant um so uh no uh no result nothing happens that was that was cool so this group is now firing on this group for a plus one nothing happens they return fire for a Two, nothing happens. Well, that was that was a stupid, um, yeah. So we're now going to use artillery to fire um, on this unit here. For a four, artillery at a two is zero. Nothing happens, but it was worth a try. And for a five, and there something does happen. Um, well, the question is, yeah, it's disordered. Well, they are not, well, if they can't be disordered, so I'll just rule that they are eliminated. Um, but that doesn't cost anybody anything. There is no flight um, stuff going on here. Okay, so that was all of um, the units that, uh, all of the areas that I could have, um, as the, as the um, Yorkers play, could have um, activated. So now it goes over to the Lancastrians. Um, and they are going to activate Wenlock. Wenlock is going to attack. First of all, he's going to move his men at arms to his infantry. One. They're going to get fired upon immediately. For a two plus one is a three, minus one is a two. Nothing happens. They were lucky. Um, two. Um, so their infantry is going to shock these longbow men here. Um, this longbow unit is going to attack this 
man at arms unit for a uh, two nothing happens this one is going to attack this here um two is a plus one so that's minus one for a four that's a three nothing happens um, this handgun unit is going to attack this one. It doesn't really make any difference. They roll a one. Nothing happens. Um, so now we have this shock resolution and they need to shock both. So infantry versus handgun is... Um, And there is, of course, a strength advantage, isn't there? If you, if you, if you have one time against... Okay, so there's a minus one because they have to attack both. So we roll um, a four minus one is a three infantry versus longbow. Um, is plus one, so we're at four and this is in the hedgerow which is um, minus two, so that's a two, that didn't do anything. Two means attack a disordered or retreat, so they're going to retreat. But they're also going to, um, for an eight, minus two, um, for an eight, so they're going to disorder this defender. And they're going to. Oh, they can't. Oh God, they can't retreat. So they will be disordered. Okay, so that was um, Lord John Wenlock. Um, oh, we will try and fire with this one, who cares? Minus two, minus three, one, yeah, nothing happens. Well, it was worth a try. Okay, so we will see now what we're going to be doing. Um, Let's see what Beaufort can do. For a nine, we lose initiative. It goes to the Yorkists. Okay, the Yorkists are now going to use their artillery again because they're going. what they're going to be doing is they're going to be attacking with Hastings. They're going to change the facing of this RT and they're going to attack this longbow unit. One, two, three. Um, on a six, that's a five, which means this unit is disordered. And then they're going to use this artillery again. And on a nine, minus two, or on a nine, it's an unadulterated nine actually, and the disordered is eliminated. So this unit goes, and the Lancastrians lose one flight point, or gain one flight point, I should say. Okay, so these have gone. So now, um, This unit is going to change facing to attack from the side. For a two plus one is a three. Three and the, um, and the group retreats. 
So now this longbow unit is going to attack as well. For a six plus one is a seven against a disordered, they get eliminated. So that was very successful. Um, so these have all gone. Now the men at arms are going to move in. Change facing, one, one, two. They're going to shock this unit. This group here, the infantry is also going to move. One. Two. So they're going to shock this unit here for a plus one differential simply because they are already um, outnumbering this unit. Plus one because the infantry that they're um, attacking is disordered, makes plus two. And then um, a plus one because it's um, dismounted men at arms attacking an infantry. So that's at a plus three plus a plus one, plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four for the charisma. It's a five, it's a nine, um, and that is, um, for a disordered unit, um, a defender elimination. And we could continue our attack. The problem is there is no one we can attack. Um, unless, of course, we attack here. But this is impossible. They would have to change facing. So they do a change facing. So, yeah, they get to attack here. This is men at arms attacking men at arms. Um... All attacking units are attacking through a defender's flank, which is true. That's a plus two, minus one. Let's roll seven. That's an eight. Defender disordered. Again, a really, really good result uh, for Hastings up here. Um, I assume that, you know, this was probably wrong. Because if they say attack continues, you usually can only move one if there is nobody there. So you just advance after combat. So yeah, that would have been too cool. Okay, so basically um, we have now completed Hastings um, movements. We'll now try to get, um, we'll try to get Gloucester going because I think Gloucester has um, stuff that is still unresolved down here. So we're going to roll. We roll a two, Gloucester gets activated. So first of all, this artillery is going to attack this longbow group. Four a four. Um, and that is a disordered um, unit, so it gets retired. That was a very good result. Um, Artillery is firing at this longbow unit for a nine, which means they're disordered. They get to fire back though. For an eight, um, which means that they are disordered. Well, you can't disorder artillery, so I'll just rule that they are now uh, removed from the game. Oh yeah, they would have been able to fire back as well. That was a seven. Five. Yeah. But they were already disordered, so that wasn't a problem there. Okay, so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be advancing. This man at arms. One. He's going to get fired upon. Two. Um...
nothing happens. The handgun is going to move forward to here and is going to fire against this handgun unit here for a nine. Wow, As that's a seven. So this unit is now disordered. They are now going to shock. This infantry unit is going to um, want to shock this particular unit here. So it's going to be fired upon first. Five, that's a six, that's disordered, but it's still going to shock. So first we're going to let the men at, men at arms shock for six, plus one is seven. Um, dismounted men at arms at hand, handguns is a plus three, so that's a ten. Yeah. Defender eliminated, continue attack. So that's brilliant because they get to continue the attack on this unit here. Let's see what this was. Aha, uh -huh, it's... Oh, cool. Um, so this one gets eliminated. Lancastrians gain one flight point. Um, so we're going to continue this attack just now. For an eight... Minus one is a seven. DM versus DM is a zero modifier, so a seven. Um, and by the way, this um, here, this Beaufort has a plus one charisma, but that doesn't count because he's a defender. So we attack eight minus one is seven and defender disordered or retreat. We are going to, what happens when you retreat into a hedgerow brush? Okay, so they're going to retreat. It's not too bad. We're going to advance after combat. Very good. So now this unit is going to shock. Um, it's disordered. We're going to roll a six. No, actually we rolled a nine. Brilliant. A nine. We are attacking a longbow unit with infantry. That's a plus one. That's a ten. But we are disordered. Minus two is a seven. So we have a defender disordered or retreated. So it retreats. We advance. So this means we are done. Um, and Richard Plantagenet has been quite successful um, this time round. Um, So let's see if we can get the king, and the king rolls a zero, so the king gets to go. Um, the infantry is shocking this handgun, there is no doubt about it. So we're first going to fire on this unit. For a six, um, minus two is a four. Um, the attack, the defender is disordered, so it is retired. So they are retired. They go next to their standard. Um, Lancastrians lose another flight point. Um, so then this infantry unit is not going to shock anybody, so it's going to rally. Um, this uh, Unit is going to fire on those men of men at arms for a two. Yeah, that's not going to do any good. Um, we're going to fire on this one for a four. Plus one is a five. Minus one is a four. They are disordered already, so they get retired. This is happening thick and fast now. The Lancastrians are not doing so well. Uh, the handgun unit. No, that's not going to work. Um, we're going to get the artillery. To fire at this longbow unit here. That's it's disordered already. We roll an eight. It's one, two, three away. So that is a minus one is seven. Six, five. Five for a five for a retired dis uh, for a disordered that's a retirement for this unit as well, and another Lancastrian bites the dust, so it means that this 
um, unit here is now going to move in here. Let's turn here. And it's going to attack, to get attacked from here. For a seven, eight minus one is a one, um, it is a seven. So that means they are disordered. But they will still shock. Um, so now they're going to do that. Um, dismounted men at arms against longbows is plus two. We're shocking through a hedgerow, which is minus two, so that brings us to zero, but we are disordered, so we are at a minus two to begin with. And five is a three. Um, attack a disordered or retreat, so we're just going to stay where we are because a disordered um, has no um, result whatsoever. So that's fine. Okay. So now we are done. We have done everything we could over here. Um, it doesn't look very good for the Lancastrians. Their flight level is at 10 at the moment and they will um, flee at 20. For the Yorkists, they are currently at 4. They would flee at... Um, da, 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 at 22. So um, at the moment, the Lancastrians are not... Um, are not doing so well. So now it's... I'm going to pause now because I've already been playing for one hour and 18 minutes and I think this is going to be a very long video so I'm now going to make a little break.